Milwaukee office is right behind me. Now, we do know that he strongly, at least his office, strongly disagrees with the decision. Delivers. Braun to center and deep. On the day the Milwaukee Brewers were starting their playoff run, Ryan Braun was giving a urine sample. A source tells ESPN the person who collected the sample on October 1st was supposed to take it to the FedEx office for shipping, but thought it was closed. So he took the sample home and kept it in a cool place. He mailed it to the lab two days later. I was surprised that it's the first time this has ever happened. David Lee is familiar with drug testing for athletes. He used to be Marquette University's athletic trainer. He believes if the sample's chain of custody was compromised, it would raise all sorts of questions. They don't know if the seal's been broken. They don't know if it's been tampered with. All those things could have happened. I'm not saying they did, but they could have happened, and that's what the lawyers would argue. Major League Baseball has a different opinion. Quote, while we have always respected that process, Major League Baseball vehemently disagrees with the decision rendered by the arbitrator. A source tells ESPN MLB is livid and is considering options. Some people say he's getting off on a technicality. How would you look at it? I would look, to, look at it that the chain of custody cannot be broken. Now, Braun's camp has always questioned the results that were leaked that showed that he had high levels of synthetic testosterone. They point out that the MVP slugger has never tested positive for drugs in his five years of playing professional baseball. On your side, live in downtown Milwaukee, Charles Benson, today's TMJ4. Live